welcome back to the vlog channel. Today is the seventh day of Vlogmas. We are a week in, we're going strong. The vlog from yesterday that you guys saw, let's see, a day ago if you're watching this, yesterday's vlog ended up going up a little bit late, but still within the Vlogmas window on the next day. I just had honestly such a busy last 24 hours. You guys saw the last vlog was already pretty busy on its own. So I ended up going to bed at two. I woke up at eight. I finished filming the hairstyles video. Then I edited that. I got it up and I was all excited. I'm like, oh, I got it up at like three o'clock. That's not too bad. I'll get vlogmas up now. And then um, sometimes something happens in the YouTube notification system where a video just gets passed over. And honestly, this has only maybe happened to me three times in the lifetime of my channel. And that happened today. I kept refreshing the video for the first five minutes and no one saw it. No one got notifications. So when that happens, you pretty much just have to delete it and re-upload it. It's just like a fluke glitch in the system. It doesn't happen very often, but super bad luck that it happened on the day where I was already rushing to get the video up. So I had to re-upload it and it should be going live in the next five minutes or so. Fingers crossed that the same thing doesn't happen again. That would be terrible. And then I just finished editing yesterday's Vlogmas and that is gonna be going up hopefully in the next couple minutes or so. But the rest of the day is still gonna be super fun. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me. We are gonna go down downtown San Diego where some of the more bougie stores are because I, as you guys know, I have really been wanting a Gucci belt for like the past seven or eight months I'd say. And I saved up enough money to get it and then I ended up spending that money on a Nintendo Switch instead, which I think that was the right decision. I'm glad I got the Switch, I'm having a lot of fun with it. But when I decided to do that, I had just hit about 430,000 subscribers. So Steven and I were talking about it and I was like, well, what if I got it for myself as a gift when I hit 500K? He's like, yeah, I think you should do that. That'd be a good idea and then you feel like you earned it. And I think he and I were both thinking that that would probably come in like February or March, but I hit 500 thousand subscribers yesterday so your girl is gonna get a Gucci belt I am so excited I've never set foot in a Gucci store I'm just not that bougie I don't have a lot of designer items I do have three now I have two handbags from Louis Vuitton and then a card holder but I have really just kind of more recently gotten into designer goods and I'm still being like very cautious with my purchases because they're very expensive but the Gucci belt is something I have been wanting for a long time and as you guys know I wear belts literally every day so it'll actually be something I get a lot of use out of which is great and I need to stop rambling let's get in the car and go to Gucci I'm excited I'm honestly excited to have a bit of a drive right now I have been so busy for this whole day and for yesterday it's gonna be nice to just sit down put on a podcast zone out and know I'm getting the Gucci belt soon can you imagine I get there and they don't have it in stock that'd be that'd be a bummer I feel like I mean I could online but part of the experience is like going there doing the bougie thing getting the good customer service and also I don't know what size I need so I actually do need to try it on <sighs> time to zone out I'll see you guys in a bit I literally just had to pull over I'm so mad the notifications didn't go out a second time it has nine views in five minutes that's not that's not normal I don't know what to do I mean I really feel like I have no other option than to take it down okay I just privated it again Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. Okay, I'm just gonna post the video tomorrow. So sorry you guys don't get to see it when it's supposed to go up. I I don't know what to do. Maybe it's just a problem in the whole system today. Oh my gosh, okay. I, I'm i gonna try to call my manager and if she doesn't pick up because it's after hours, I'm gonna call Steven. Okay, I'm just gonna drive, relax, try not to stress about it. It's just a video. Oh, this is supposed to be a fun day, a fun vlog, but it has just been stressful so far. I, I need this long drive to transition into a happier mindset. So I will see you guys without this grumpy face, hopefully in like an hour. All right, I was right. I'm in a much better mood now. I mean, how can I not be in a good mood? I'm about to go get a Gucci belt. I honestly, okay, and then my manager called me back and she was at a wedding. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for bugging you because I was like frantically texting her about what to do. So she said, this has actually been a problem for a ton of other YouTubers today. Like a lot of people had been having upload problems. So that makes me feel better. It's not my fault. It's not my channel. And she said to re-upload it tomorrow and it should be fixed. So fingers crossed that that is correct. Now I'm just gonna try to not worry about that and enjoy my evening out shopping.
I'll give my little outfit of the day in the Gucci store, very bougie. So I'm wearing this little wrap from Target, black v-neck tee from Madewell, I've got a belt, my ripped jeans, and my Uggs. Hi, thank you. Thank you. So right as I was trying to take a thumbnail in front of Gucci holding my bag, uh, one of my subscribers came up to me, she's like, oh my gosh, I love your videos. And I was like, of course, as I'm like embarrassing myself taking a selfie in front of Gucci. <laughs> But she was the sweetest. Hi, Becca, if you're watching this. I very much enjoyed meeting you. You are the sweetest. You know what's right next door to Gucci? Oh, it just so happens to be Louis Vuitton. I guess while I'm here, while I'm at the bougie mall being bougie, might as well stop and see what they've got. Probably not gonna buy anything, so let's just go in with uh, window shopping in mind. All right, I've got Bella and Bruiser here to help me do this unboxing. You want some Gucci? Yes, you do, you want some Gucci. So, I have to tell a funny little story. Steven's over there doing laundry and I was telling him all about getting my Gucci belt and how excited I was. So it was actually really funny. When I was shopping in the store, the sales associate that was helping me was a woman, but there was another guy kind of in that same area helping someone else and kind of like chiming in on the stuff I was looking at. And as I was checking out, the guy came up to me. He's like, oh my gosh, I have to tell you, I love your poncho. Is that Burberry? This is the poncho I'm wearing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're not gonna believe this, it's from Target. And he was like this very like flamboyant over the top guy and he's like, oh, shut up, no, no way that's from Target. I'm going to Target right now. So there you have it. The Gucci guy liked my little Target poncho wrap thing and <laughs> thought it was Burberry. If it was Burberry, it would probably be like $3,000. This was $14 on the sale rack at Target. I love me some Target. Now to go with my nice little Target poncho, we have, da 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 da. Here is the packaging and this is the holiday wrap. I saw that they were putting some people's purchases in this bag that I have, like the holiday bag and some people in like the regular black and white Gucci bag. I don't know if they thought this was a gift for someone. Well, I guess it is. It's my gift to me, from me, to congratulate myself on 500,000 subscribers. I just wanna say real quick is, I know a lot of people would say like, oh, like good for you, you deserve this. And I am really, really happy that I get to get this, but I don't think I deserve it. I don't think anyone like needs or deserves or earns a Gucci belt. It's more like, I think I earned the satisfaction and the feeling of personal achievement that my work is going well and my channel is going well. Um, but I don't think I earned a Gucci belt. I don't think I need a Gucci belt. I'm excited that I got to buy one and I'm very grateful for it, but definitely not something that I need. But I really like showing like the unboxings and stuff when I buy designer goods, mostly because I like watching people unbox and buy designer goods and I rarely get to do it. So when I do, I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. Now let's unbox this. So inside, oh, Sierra, you shouldn't have. What a nice gift. So here is the wrapping. Not sure if this is like typical of Gucci to wrap it up like this or if it's because it's Christmas. Like I said, I've never shopped at Gucci before. Let's unbox it Christmas morning. Oh, Sierra, what did you get me? Sierra, you shouldn't have. My receipt, gotta make sure I hold on to that in case I ever wanna sell this or in case I change my mind and decide to return it. Definitely need to hang on to that receipt. Here is the bag and inside. So, I love it so much. Okay, so here it is. We've got the big double G belt buckle in the front and it is in the color dusty pink. I love this color. I didn't expect to like this color as much as I did and I'm really glad that I went with this color because it's more versatile than the black or the brown. I mean, black usually would be like everyone's go-to but I wear a lot of like brown warm tone colors. So I was worried if I got the black that I would end up just wearing like my regular brown Madewell belt all the time. But what I love about this is I can wear this with my brown toned outfits but it also won't look off if I wear it with black. I'm just so excited to have this. I feel like it's gonna elevate so many of the more casual looks that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, I just noticed Bruiser's in the background. Hi, Bruiser. Enjoy this little review unboxing. Um, but I'm just really excited to pair this with like all my everyday outfits. It's gonna kind of bring all those casual looks to another level. And I believe I got this in size 100. I told the woman I was a size 12 and she said that would either be a 100 or a 105. And 
I tried both and the 100 was definitely the better fit for me and I do have a little bit of room still. When I put it on, I buckle it on the third hole. So right in the middle, which is perfect because if I gain or lose any weight, I've still got two holes to move from on either side. So I, I'm gonna try this on so that you guys can see it real quick. So I just slide it in and then put it on my little hole of choice. Should I rip the tag off? Let's rip the tag off. I gotta go get scissors so that I can cut this tag off. Hold on. And ta-da, there you have it. That is the belt. See, I love the way it looks. It looks good with the black shirt and it still looks good with the like orange shawl wrap over it. Such a pretty color. I'm really glad I went with the thick one instead of the thin one. I toyed with getting the thin one, but I think this is the best for me. I always wear thick belts anyways. Yay. I may not understand it, but I'm so happy that you got something you wanted because you deserve it. Hmm. No, I don't deserve it. No one deserves a Gucci belt. You deserve to treat yourself. Sure. I deserve to treat In myself. Whatever way you please. It was something I've been wanting for a while. Yeah, have you been very patient? I have been. And you know, I made the decision to get the Nintendo Switch over the belt, but I'm glad I got another opportunity right. to get the belt later. I thought 500K was gonna be a little farther away when I said you can get it at 500. I think we both did. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's that'll be a months away. So you thank you there. guys for giving me the opportunity to get myself a Gucci belt. Thanks yeah. for subscribing, joining the family. Bruiser appreciates it. I appreciate it. Where's Bella? Does she appreciate it? Yes, you do. Hello, princess. <laughs> Gosh. All right. So what is the plan for the rest of the night? Well, I think you're working. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, only for like an hour. So I, I, I actually have quite a bit of work to do tonight. Tomorrow I have something to do, mm -hmm. and we'll see where that goes. And I'm doing. I'm trying to do all my laundry tonight. I have a lot of laundry. <laughs> I'm trying to get ready for my trip for the next week because I'm gone for a week. Yeah, well, okay, so here's what happens. So Steven's leaving on Monday for a work trip to Massachusetts? Yep. Massachusetts. To Boston. Boston. He's going to Boston. <laughs> It's so bad. Um, but Steven's going to Boston and, sorry, I'm cutting your face out, you're too tall. Steven's going to Boston, thank you. And he's gonna be gone for a week, but also I'm gonna be up in LA for three and a half of those days that he's gone. So not only will it be a solo vlog, cause Steven's gone, he's working, he can't vlog there cause it's a work trip, but also I will be up in LA. So it'll be a solo LA week and then I'll come back for two days and then he'll be home. And we were supposed to have like a really fun little date night tomorrow to like, you know, have our last little night together before he leaves. And now I'm too busy with work and editing and stuff. We were gonna go like recreate our first date, but we'll have to save that for when you get back. Cause I was really excited for mm -hmm. that. On our first date, we went to a pasta place that Steven chose, and then we went and saw Christmas lights, because we started, well, we went on our first date the day after Christmas. So, yeah, that would have been really fun. But we'll have to do that when you get back, because I was really looking forward to that. Sounds Maybe like tomorrow we'll like watch Elf or something, so that at least we get like a little bit of us time before I go. I know you don't like Elf, but. I, so I think you watched it just yesterday. Isn't that so annoying that he doesn't like Elf? Like who doesn't like Elf? Elf is like the best Christmas movie. It's not that I don't like, I like Elf. I just don't want to rewatch it 4,000 times. But that's what you do on Christmas. I you watch know. Elf. Like it was a great movie, but it's not what I want to rewatch. I don't rewatch movies. And if I do, wow, it's not going to be Elf. <laughs> well, it is tomorrow. Cause we're going to watch Elf. So I think that's where we're going to end this vlog. Tomorrow is actually going to be a Q and A that we're going to go film right now. We ask you guys questions from Instagram. Wait, I mean, we asked you guys to ask us questions on Instagram. So we're going to be answering those and we will see you guys tomorrow with that Q and A. Bye. Bye.